Hello. Welcome to ZeroToProTraining.com. In this short tutorial we will talk about desktop and server software offered by VMware Incorporated. The software offerings from VMware Incorporated could be divided into three groups. Desktop software, server software, and other software. The desktop software includes VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion, and VMware Player. VMware Workstation was the first product launched by VMware in 1999. It allows users to run multiple instances of x86 or x86-64 compatible operating systems on a single physical PC. VMware Fusion provides similar functionality for users of Intel Mac platform. It offers full compatibility with virtual machines created by other VMware products. VMware Player is offered as a freeware product for personal use. It is intended for users without a license to use VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion. While initially not able to create virtual machines, this limitation was removed in version 3.0.1. The server software includes VMware ESX, VMware ESXi, and VMware Server. All of these software are virtualization products designed for servers. VMware ESX was formerly called ESX Server. It is an enterprise-level product that can deliver greater performance than the freeware VMware Server. Better performance is produced mainly due to lower system overhead. VMware ESX is a bare metal product, meaning it directly runs on the server hardware. This allows the software to use hardware more or less directly. It integrates into VMware vCenter. VMware vCenter offers extra services to enhance the manageability of a server deployment. Examples include capability to move a running virtual machine, automatic load balancing, and high availability. VMware ESXi was formerly called VMware ESX3i. It is quite similar to ESX. The main difference is that the service console is removed and replaced with a minimal busy box installation. Disk space requirements are lower than ESX. Memory footprint is reduced as well. ESXi is intended to be run from flash disks in servers. It can be run from normal disks as well. VMware ESXi hosts cannot be managed directly from the console. The management is performed through a virtual center server. VMware decided to give ESXi away for free in July 2008. VMware Server was formerly called GSX Server. It is also offered as freeware for non-commercial use. It is also possible to create virtual machines with it. It is a hosted application, meaning it runs on top of an existing Linux or Windows operating system. We will discuss other products from VMware in another session.